Hey my friends, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to restore an old, very broken black and white picture and the methods I'm showing you are not the super accurate museum scientific methods, they're more about getting nice results quick. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you very much and let's get started. So the first thing we want to make sure is that the picture is actually level on our canvas. So we will click up here on the ruler and pull down a guideline to the top part of the picture. You can see it's not completely level. By the way, if you don't see the ruler up here, click on view and then here it says show ruler. So they make a hook next to that and the rulers will appear. To make it level, we are just going to click over here on the left side on the crop tool and we will gonna grab one of the edges or not really the edges, but when the mouse turns to this kind of uh, symbol and you can rotate this a little bit. Um, that looks good. Okay, hit the enter key and now it's cropped to level. So we can move up the guideline. We don't need it anymore. And you can see here that the picture is extremely broken. So I'm going to fix the upper part, not the lower part, because this would take forever and the process is repeating. So it's good enough if I show you the upper part of the picture, what to do and the rest you could do on your own if you want to. But we are going to go. You can see here that the picture is ripped apart. So I'm going to select the picture. Uh, I'm going to use my lasso tool over here on the left side, freehand selection tool as it's called in Affinity Photo. Hold my shift key and make sure here on the mode it says new. Okay, hold the shift key, click, click, click and make a path along this line up to the upper end of your picture. So like that. And when you come to a point where you can't see your picture anymore, press down the, model, uh, the middle mouse key and then um, go on. If you have an Apple and you don't have, you have an Apple mouse with no middle mouse key, I don't know what you do. Just throw the mouse out of the window and buy an actual mouse. <laughs> sorry, it's like a mouse needs more than one button or two buttons. I'm sorry. If you want to do photo editing, you absolutely need more than two buttons. It's yeah, for so many things you need at least three mouse buttons. All right, so you can see we're making very quick process here, getting up to the upper part of our image. So now that we've done this, you can sh still hold the shift key, but also press the control key and rotate your mouse wheel. Again, we need our middle mouse button. Um, so you zoom out, you go around the picture and click here to close down your selection. And then I will just um, hit Control C, Control V to copy this real quick. It rotated the picture for some reason. That's a bit strange. I don't know. Why did it rotate the picture? Huh. Well, we can just as well use our um, arrow keys without copying the layer and just move this to the side. Uh, we have to unlock our layer first. There we go. Okay. And now use our arrow keys, which doesn't work either. Uh huh. This is very curious. Okay. I have to select my layer. Okay. So, my friends, troubleshooting 101. If things don't work, go to the root and find out why they don't work. So, I couldn't move the layer first of all because I had the lock icon over here. So the layer was locked and second of all, I couldn't use my arrow keys because the layer wasn't selected. So when you go through the steps of why something is not working, you get to the solution within seconds. It's a really important thing to know and understand. Always go through the different steps uh, because otherwise you probably waste half an hour on an internet forum uh, to find out basically the same thing. Okay. So let's go on. Uh, what you want to do is to create an extra layer and you want to have most of your fixes on this extra layer. The reason for that is that you can go back to this extra layer or you can turn it on and off to see um, what is going on. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to fix this part here. Big hole seems like a big problem, but actually it's not a big problem. 
actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to fix the part here on the right side a little bit. So when I copy over the part to the left, it's already fixed and I don't have to do it twice. So I'm going to select my in-paint brush tool down here um, and make sure it's a nice size. And then I'm going to start and fix the areas over here. You can see I'm just brushing over this and making sure that this is going to get fixed in a nice way. Sometimes the software doesn't know what you want from it. Uh, so you have to do it multiple times or you have to go back and forth when the solution that the software is offering to you is not the best quality. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but you can see that in most cases this works pretty nice and pretty fast. So I think this is already pretty nice. Um, I think the area that we have is big enough. Maybe go over this a little bit more. Okay. Good. So what we're going to do is now we switch over to our clone brush tool. Click on that. This is a little bit bigger and you're going to hold your alt key to set the source point. So let's set the source point here. The source point is from where you sample. So maybe let's set it a little bit lower like here and then go over here and you can see a preview. And this is why I wanted the picture to be level. So we have like a straight line. You see, it's not completely um, lining up with both sides, but that's okay. So we're going to click once, uh, maybe click twice. Is it not set to 100% opacity? It is actually. That's interesting. Okay. Where's my... Okay, let's click here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. We have some errors or problems here, but this is where we're going to go back with our in-paint brush. Fix these areas up here. Okay, so let's go back. Control C to go back. Nope. Come on, software. Do what I want. This looks better. Not completely good. So you see you have to go back and forth several times. So it's not doing what I want. Come on, please. For some reason, I don't know why, Affinity Photo really loves to put in this little step here. I don't know why it does that. It's, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, so let's take a smaller size of our clone brush and maybe we can fix it um, like this. Maybe rotate this a little bit like that. Okay, good. Let's see how does that look. That's okay. Let's leave it like that for the moment and go on with our fixing process. We can come back to that later on. Um, but for now, let's make some quick progress here. And it's putting in the steps again. Yes. So, yeah, like I said, it's not always the best thing. Uh, let's zoom out here. I will come back to this area later on. It's not important right now. Um, let's make some progress on the rest of the picture. So we're going to go over these parts here. And you can see sometimes Affinity Photo just doesn't know what, it's going, what is going on. So it does not... Now it's going to do it. So sometimes you have to go a different direction with the brush to tell the software no. It's not, I didn't, I don't want that. Please understand, I don't want that, okay? And sometimes the software gets it right away and sometimes you have to try maybe 10 times to go over the same area, but it's eventually it's going to get fixed. And here we have another problem where it's just making a little cloud, but you can take um, your clone brush to fix that. There we go. So this is starting to look pretty good. I'm going to take my clone brush in this area here. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Take the, uh, where's the clone brush? There it is. Okay. And I'm going to sample right here on the edge between uh, light and shadow. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and bring this over here. And let's sample another location, bring this over here. And you can see now we have a nice area. Okay, let's go back to our clone brush. And you can see it's kind of a nice, it's somewhat repetitive um, process uh, throughout the picture to fix these different areas. And uh, sometimes you have to use different tools 
to fix it in a different way or maybe go smaller with the same tool uh, sometimes which we will probably see over here in the window this is not very nice here so we can try and fix that uh, sometimes what you can do is that you can um, make a selection in an area for example here I could say I want uh, the shadow that I'm going to place just in this area maybe make um, the edge a bit smoother so feather it maybe two pixels okay and then I'm gonna take my clone brush again and I'm gonna sample here and put this up here like that okay and then I'm gonna use my lasso tool again over here make a little selection in here go to select feather another two pixels there we go and again we're gonna sample down here in this case put in some light in that area uh, wait okay that looks good yeah that's kind of okay good uh, we could do another lasso tool over here like that again select feather maybe make this to four pixels so it's a little bit softer I use our um, clone stamp tool again select and click once and you can see now we have a rather sharp area here and then we take our in paint brush and fix the areas down here I have been a little bit messed up all right so let's go to the rest of the picture work a little bit quicker so this is not going to be a five hour long tutorial there we go quick and easy that was not good that was not good that was not good that was not good okay um let's see i push this down here yeah that looks good okay perfect good is this i don't think this is an error here okay good so we are making good progress right now let's fix these areas here on the wall let's hope that we get some clean lines here we do we don't now we do okay good okay that's good enough that was completely bad uh-huh that was nope that was not good not good not good good okay you see sometimes the software really understands what you want and sometimes it looks really really bad what is this actually let's go back some steps that's why is this wall so squeakly that's really strange I don't think that comes from my repar like restorations no it doesn't it doesn't uh, redo 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 okay let's go over these parts real quick okay so right now affinity photo is doing a somewhat decent job at least in some areas down here it's not well always I, I want to give it a compliment it's it's breaking down maybe I shouldn't give compliments at this moment you see it it for some reason it really loves to put the pixels a little bit too high and you have to go over it and over it and over it and sometimes you're losing your mind and you think why so you want to use another tool maybe so here we have a broken corner we could also fix that um I would suggest in this case probably that we copy some of this and copy some of that so let's fix this area here real quick like that and you can see that I'm not completely fixing the sides of the paper so to keep a little bit of the charm of the uh, like the style of the old picture it would look I, I think it would look a bit strange and you wouldn't really realize it's paper when it's completely fixed okay so I will copy um, some stuff from here like that oh wait I have to go to the lower layer probably there we go let's move this over here to the edge okay and then we take some stuff from down here one two three there we go copy fill 
deselect with Control D and I will move this up here. So that's not too bad actually. And now we could hopefully um, use our clone stamp to bring, uh, sorry, our in paint brush to bring both of them together. Okay. And I will use my um, eraser brush, which is way too big, like that to erase, whoops, erase a little bit of this one here. Not too much, that was a bit too much, like that. That's okay. I'd say that looks like a paper edge. That's that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So let's go on uh, fixing the stuff here. By the way, let's set a line here. Let's say I go to um, here because there's another like broken stuff down here that's going to be crazy intense to fix. So yeah, not let's not do this. You can see the techniques and then play around with that to see if you can fix the rest of that. Um, let's do these things up here and hope I'm on the wrong layer. That's not good. Let's hope we get some good results here from Affinity Photo. Oh yes, thank you very much. First try worked right away. That's what I want to see. Let's fix these things here. Does this work? Please? No. Okay, this is a case where you can go in here smaller and just make the tool a lot smaller like that and just fix the line because then um, Affinity Photo just can't make um, too many errors. So you can go in here and it's a bit more work intense of course because you have to go with every little point but it doesn't make too many errors so it's a bit quicker to do. So that's nice. All right, there is something here. Do we need to fix that? Let's give it a fix. Okay, why not? Um, so again, we take our clone. Oh, by the way, we could use another tool here. Oh, maybe not. Um, I was thinking maybe we could use, we can try that actually, the, um, the patch tool, the patch tool. Because the patch tool, let's go, we have to go down to this layer, I think. No, we don't have to. We can go here, current layer, and I forgot to explain this, I'm sorry. When you use the tools, you have to select current layer and below. So the sample from the current layer and the layers below. Otherwise, you cannot paint on the empty pixel layer. I forgot about that, sorry. Okay, so I will select this area here with my tool. And then you can see when I move my mouse up here, it, would, it will take pixels from up there. And when I click, it will integrate them in the picture. And boom, we are done. Super easy, super fast. This is what I like. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to our um, ink paint brush. There we go. Okay, so I hope you got this point um, about, as you can see here, also setting it to current layer and below. So it samples from all the layers below and you can paint on the empty um, pixel layer. That's very, very important. Okay, good. I think we are done with the small detail kind of fixing thing. Here we could use the other tool again, our patch tool, to move something from here over there. And you can see, whoops, okay, I made it wrong. I have to click before I deselect. So click and then click again. And you can see that's super easy. That's very nice. Let's switch again to our in-paint brush. Fix, 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 go, go, go. and. Within seconds or minutes, we have our picture in a very nice state, as you can see. So um, we are really gifted to, uh, not gifted, but we are really, we can be really, really happy to have these advanced tools um, at our fingertips today, instead of doing everything by hand with um, the with the clone stamp, as you would have need to do in the past. Okay, let's go make this a little bit bigger and go here, go faster again. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a process. It's quite repetitive, but it can be fun if you like it. It can be like a puzzle game, you know? If you like to puzzle, maybe this is for you. There we have the small points again where Affinity Photo just doesn't want to do what I want. And then we take our patch tool again 
and to make a line down here, whoop, like that, and move this over here. And that was not great. Let's use our in-paint brush again. Hey, that's good. Okay, great. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. You can see here, this was the picture at the start and this is the picture now. So we fixed quite a bit of the picture. It's pretty nice. Um, so let's go here to these parts of the face. And this is why I said I'm not doing this uh, like museum style, super perfect, where every hair is going to end up where every hair should be. I'm already happy when the hairline looks natural and we can feel like, yes, this is a repaired picture. Um, so like that, for example, let's see. Okay. This is not good. Let's go in here a little bit smaller, make our tool smaller. And this will save you hours if you're not uh, like, uh, how can I say, hell bent on getting like every hair in the right position. Um, and you just want to remove the blemishes of the picture. This can save you a ton of time and still the picture is going to look really nice. And um, yeah, a lot more interesting and of course, uh, like visually representative, so you can actually see what's going on in the picture. There we go. Okay. Almost done here. I will leave the eye for now. We can fix that in a second. You can see that also I have this, this is of course an internet picture, so the resolution is a little bit limited. Um, let's see, is there some... This seems to be a little bit broken here. Okay, this is worse. I think there's a little bent in here. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can fix this because this is a little bit of a bent in the paper. I'm actually not quite sure um, what to do about that. Actually, let's make our picture. Yeah, let's make our tool even smaller and try if we can just go over this. No, that doesn't look good. Okay, so here you might, we might have come to a spot where I'm not quite sure how to fix that. We could paint over that. Hmm. How do you fix that? Let's take our brush tool real quick and I will make another pixel layer and we want to have our tool really small like that. Let's sample some colors here. Whoa, okay, that was not what I was trying to do. Hmm. Make this a little smaller even. Two pixels wide. Oh, small details here. Paint here. So my idea right now is just to paint this in by hand. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Let's see. The problem is I can't really see what I'm doing because it's so small. Oh my God, this looks really bad. Okay, so let's see the before. Actually, it's not that bad. Hmm. Let's make a new layer, go with the in-paint brush tool, and I will just go over this and see what we end up with. If it's a little bit wishy-washy from the eye, maybe we are okay with that. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not, that is really not what we want to have. Um, like another layer, delete the other layer. I mean, I could I could copy over the other eye from the left side. I'm kind of really at a moment here where I have no idea how to go about this. 
That's not too bad, actually. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Okay, so maybe we can do it like this. Um, let's take the clone tool. They're very small. Sometimes you have to experiment and just try to figure out um, how the th stuff that you want to achieve works. Okay, let's try this here. And I will rotate this over like that. Is this working? No, not really. <sighs> okay, let's take the brush again. The problem with the brush is it's just one color and this makes it look wrong, you know? Ah, I can reduce the opacity, this is what I can do. Uh, let's make it 25%. Make it a little bit bigger here. Then just brush over this side. Actually, not too bad. I made my brush stroke a little bit too long. And maybe we can also try this up here. I might take it from here. That is actually good. Okay. Can we maybe... It's actually not bad. I'm happy. It's not... It's not It's not crazy good, but it's also not crazy bad. So... No, this was not what I wanted to have. Let's take the brush again. Make this a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. There might be people who say this is the worst thing they've ever seen, but I am happy with this. And I don't wanna have you sitting here for the next 10 hours watching me to fix one eye. So uh, let's go on with the haircut of this guy and fix the rest of the picture. There's another part, but this is better to be fixed. No. Come on. Come on, Affinity Photo. Give me something I can work with here. No. Okay, let's make this smaller. Yeah, okay. Good. So let's try to shred through the rest of this in a faster fashion. So we get a really nice, whoops, a really nice result we can look at. Let's just make this happen. There is her nose. This could be problematic. And it's, of course, not going as well as I hope it will. Okay, it's not too bad. What, what just happened? I think, oh, I, I, I accidentally switched the tool over to another tool. Okay, there we go. So this is not too bad here right now. Of course, this is not picking up in the right way. No, okay. Brush tool, where's my brush? There's my paintbrush, okay, make it smaller. Two pixels, two pixels, please. There we go, okay. Take some of the darker color down here and just make a stroke, whoop, like that. No. Hmm. 
No. That's okay. Good. In paintbrush. And we are on our journey again to fix this picture. No. Sometimes I've tried to move the picture to the side and it's not doing it. It's just not registering the the day. It, like you can move the picture by holding down your um, uh, space key on the keyboard. Sometimes it doesn't register, so it's just not working. Okay, we will fix this in a second. It's not that important at the moment. Let's fix this guy's arm first to a point where we are happy with a quick version and then we can fix it in more detail in a second. So you can see even if you if you use uh, like quick methods to fix the picture, um, it's still like laborious work. It still takes a bit to, to fix all these kind of things. Let's go for the moment with the things that go a little bit faster. So yeah, sometimes you want to fix the faster parts, bring back the fun. There we go. Nope. Okay, let's fix this real quick. And then we will use the other tool to bring um, this up here. You see, we use our patch tool, select this area, bring this up here, click and click. Here again, click, click. There we go. Okay, so that's fixed. Um, patch tool again up here. Select this little area here and try to bring this in like that. And then we actually, I mean, it's the same color. Maybe it's not really visible. You can see this gray, this gray and this gray is actually the same gray. So I'm not sure if this would actually be visible. Let's make another one with the patch tool here to go like this. That's pretty okay. Good. Uh, let's move over here right now. And as you can see, we're making pretty good progress at the moment. And a lot of it, as you can see, a lot of it is just using um, the in-paint brush uh, to go over areas and hope that Affinity Photo is fixing or filling in the right parts in the picture. Let's see if it can fix all of this in one go. Uh, almost worked. A little bit of problems up here. And the in-paint brush, I feel like it's very dependent on in what direction you're making the stroke. So sometimes if it doesn't work in one direction, just try a different direction with the stroke and it might work. And it might also have a better understanding of the structures going on beneath it and what kind of like what elements to keep and what elements to throw away. You know, so sometimes it's even a good idea to make the stroke longer than it should be to give um, Affinity Photo some more additional information on what you want to keep and what you want to remove in the picture. You can see here it's doing an incredible job at the moment with these parts. So that's pretty interesting. And sometimes on the easiest parts, you feel like this has to be done in a second and you'll make 10 strokes. It's not going to fix it. Here's another part of face that probably is a little bit too hard to fix. Um, so yeah. And this is probably not, yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, not a problem. We can use our patch tool to fix that. Let's fix the other areas first here. Okay, this is messing up the line completely. <sighs> oh, we are under our blue line anyways. That's good. Uh, I mean, we can still uh, go to our patch tool here real quick. 
use this and I completely started at the, at the wrong point. We need to put it down here. So we're going to go up here and try to put this in and didn't take. Let's do this again. Put it in. Click and click again. And there we go. Okay, but we are below our line. So we're not going to progress down there. We're going to go up here and start working on these parts that are actually part of our video this time. Good. Okay. Whoa, okay. Just invented a new um, thing there, new stroke. It's interesting. I think there should be one of those. So uh, we will use again our patch tool um, to try and bring one in here. Bloop, bloop. Beautiful. That worked very good. Okay, very nice. Um, down here we have some other areas that we can try to fix. Like this. I think again we can use our patch tool in this area to replace it with a part from over here. So we get a nicer kind of window area as you can see here. Um, and we could also try it here. Let's see if that works, if that gives us a benefit or not. Mm. It's not as good as I thought it would be, but it's okay. Good, let's go on. Fix some of these small areas here. The ear, wow, okay. Okay, so here we have to go like really small with our tool. Go down to our three pixels again and fix these areas very close. So, yeah, Affinity Photo understands that we only want to have very small details changed. All right. There's some stuff up here I want to fix. And I think we are getting close to the finish line. Let's go to the overview in a second. Let's fix this first. And then we're going to see. I'm happy if it's like 95% there or even 90% there. I'm happy. I will call this a success because... It's not about fixing it 100% for every detail. As I said, this is about making it look good. There we go. Let's see. Okay. So we have all these fixes. There's some problem here, some problem down there that we still have to do. But I will group this uh, real quick. So this is the starting picture and this is what we have now. I'd say we're making very good progress. So let's um, make some of these fixes that we still have to do. Here is a very messy area. Let's see if we can do something about that. Um, like I said, when it's going to go more difficult, maybe work with a smaller tool. Try to fix it like that. Okay, that was good. There's another of these eye areas. You're pretty complicated often. The, the most complicated thing about the eye is that we look at eyes all day long. So we know how they look for every little detail. And if it's some little detail is off, we instantly recognize it. We instantly feel strange about it. So this is what makes eyes in any kind of form of art uh, kind of complicated. Or other things like faces, like um, hands, stuff like that. Okay, that's kind of good here. Good. Let's fix this area up here. Okay, I think we can go with a bigger tool. Zoom out. 
Whoop, the last one wasn't good. Let's go with a bigger tool to give Affinity a bit more detail on what we want to do. That was bad. Bad, bad. That's good. Okay, good. So we can now again, um, we could use our lasso tool here uh, to go like this. Make the area a bit softer, the selection, select a feather, go with let's say four pixels and then use our clone stamp tool um, to select some area up here. So we can paint this in a little bit. Deselect, use our in-paint brush to fix these parts here a little bit. Okay, that's completely didn't take. That's good. Okay, good. Here we have a little bit of errors over there. Is this still messed up here? There's some parts messed up still. Okay. We have to also be uh, careful that we don't fix parts that are actually like broken parts in the wall that actually have been there when the photo was taken. So sometimes when you're too close with your zoom, you think it's an error, but actually it's part of the like what was happening in the picture at the time. So it's kind of good to zoom in and out sometimes to see what's going on. Can we fix this in one stroke? No, we can't. Okay, let's go small and dive in here to fix this bit by bit. Yeah, you can see sometimes it feels a little bit like flying blind because you can't really see what you're doing. Uh, so you have to zoom in and out uh, to get a better grasp of what's going on. Good. Okay, there's something on her hair here. Let's paint over this. Okay, I would say we are pretty much... Okay, his arm is not in a good state. I have to admit that this is probably not so good. I think maybe I was zoomed in a little bit too much, but also, I mean, there's this rip in the paper, so probably hard to replace that unless you want to invest a lot of time uh, to get all these details right, probably with your, um, um, or you say your um, stamp tool, clone stamp tool. Okay. Let's zoom out. Okay, so here you also, you can see you have these problems that there's reflections on the paper. So that's also kind of hard to fix because this is missing the area of the actual picture. We can see information in the picture, so that's pretty um, complicated. What you can do here, I will show you in a second. Um, let's fix this up here a little bit. So what you can do to fix this area here, I think I'm making it worse, um, is that you take these parts of the picture and prolong them to the other side, reconstructing the part of her dress. You can see here the line. So you could, again, uh, for example, use your um, patch tool. For example, let's, let's select this area here and see if we could pull over some of the lines. You can see here, we can now go like this to prolong that area and push it up to the side like that and you have a little bit more of the dress but this would take a little bit of like more intense uh, reconstruction and also bringing this down in value stuff like that so uh, that's rather complicated to do let's see if we can pull this over here mm. nope um no, that's the wrong area. OK. 
Okay. Mm hmm. Let's use my paint brush tool again. Can it help me fix up these lines? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Sometimes it's doing a good job, sometimes not. This didn't do it good. No, no. Okay, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Okay. Good. Ah, okay, you can see it's a bit work intense, but it can it can also be fun. Okay, let's leave it like that. Oh, we are way below our line. Whoo, the saving line. <laughs> Today it's really saving line. It can be fixed, but it's so work intense. And I don't want to do it in this tutorial because it would be kind of boring to watch. Um, why is there... You can see here's a chump in her lines. But there isn't a blemish in the picture. I wonder why there is this chump in the lines. That's pretty strange, actually. Can we fix this in one go? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's good. Okay, so up here we have another problem that can be done but would be probably pretty time intense to fix. I can take some of the color here and what I can do is, uh, let's make the brush bigger. Um, I can go with a, a reduced opacity 25% right now and brush over this to make this area a little bit darker. You can see like this. So at least it looks like her hair. And we get the shine of the um, reflection in the paper a little bit out. See, so we have a blend mode. If we go darken, for example, it's a bit too much. Color burn, that's too much. Yeah, we can leave it like that. Should be a bit darker, maybe. I'm curious why this is so um, kind of not dark. Not as dark as I would have expected it to be. Let's make it a bit darker by hand. Okay. I'll leave it like that. Um, let's zoom in here, see if we can fix some parts here. Okay. There's another bend in here. Oh god, there's another area over here that we have to fix. I forgot about that. Okay, let's do this real quick. That shouldn't be too hard to do because we have nice detail here. Of course, as soon as I say it, it's not working anymore. Okay, let's go with this. That's good. Oh, there's a chair. I think there's a chair in the background. Okay. No. Good. No. Why why is the software doing this little chump? Some okay, sometimes it doesn't do it, but most of the time it does do this little chump and it's like really 
everything is there, but it's just one pixel too low, and you're like going crazy all the while. Let's reduce this a little bit, zoom in here. Good. Follow this line up here. There's a line over there and one down here. Zoom out. Okay, there's some stuff here going on. Good. So you can see it's like a lot of using the um, in paint brush. That's basically most of the work that you have to do. Is there a, oh, there's a bend in the chair. Okay, so this is actually how it was to begin with. So that's good for us. Okay, let's see. No. Nope. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh. then we have this area that's just completely broken down again with the eye also. Doesn't do anything, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try to fix this as good as we can. Let's see, we could probably use our lasso tool up here. Wait, let's take a bigger part of this. Um, let's copy this and fill it in here. Oh, and this is of course giving me the... Um, wait. I'm gonna copy flatten and then copy paste it so we have everything in the picture. And then I'm going to select all this area here and copy it and paste it. And then I can delete the layer again that we did before. Um, I will just see if it works and then if it does, I will give you a second run of it. So that looks pretty okay. I can now take my um, eraser tool, which is on the wrong layer. Make this softer. Make the opacity less. Okay, 
So um, the copy flatten thing that I just did is that if you go to edit and copy flatten, it will make a flattened copy of everything you see on your screen, not on your screen, but what is happening on your canvas right now. And then when you paste it, you have everything in one layer. So you, if you copy something from that layer, uh, it will it will just be from that layer with all the information in it, which in some cases like this, I don't have to go through complicated steps. So it's kind of a dirty shortcut but it works very well okay um let's look at the picture that we have so let's look at the upper half that we have fixed oh there's still a part here with this guy so let's fix this too sorry this is taking long i know but restorating pictures is a long process and i didn't even do a good job i will admit that completely freely that this was not the greatest job that you've ever seen um, but I would still say that I'm happy with the result that we have gotten so far. Not with this ear, of course, <laughs> because that's not good what I'm doing right now. Um, but the rest of it um, is kind of okay, especially for the short time we've taken to fix the picture. Every time I try to say something nice, the software just does the wrong thing. That's that's hilarious. Okay, let's let's take our um, paintbrush again. Uh, select the color up here, make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna paint this in here real quick. Of course, that's the wrong color. Anyways, there we go. I hope this doesn't look completely terrible. That's ah, actually okay. Good. So there is some parts. <sighs> Should we fix this too? I don't want to waste your time. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and you have to sit here for hours watching me doing this. Let's copy and uh, paste this in here again, and then I will just take this part. This is the last thing I'm going to do in this tutorial. I'm taking this part and I will copy this and i will move this over here to hopefully reconstruct part of his um, arm move this over a little bit okay that looks good uh, i can delete this layer again now and i will take my eraser tool again opacity make the opacity a little uh, very low so this gives me the opportunity to go over it several times hardness is also reduced and i can just go over here as often as i want or not as often as i want but as as much so i feel like okay this result is good it's going in the direction i want it to be it's kind of a trick to to work kind of um faster um, I just used a bunch of control and set um, strokes basically to, to undo what I just did uh, because I did it a bit too much. Maybe I can stretch this down here actually so we cover up the part until the hair of the women, woman. Whoops. There we go. Like that. Okay. Um, whoops, that was the wrong layer. Uh, let's go to the opacity 100%. Just erase this part here and a little bit of that. Okay, good. So let's zoom out. And okay, we still have this part here. This is not getting, it's not going to an end here. Sorry, we are almost done, I swear. We are almost done. Um, stay with me just for one more second. I will copy this part here and control C, control V to copy this in here. Again, I'm gonna delete this layer. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty um, stretch this over here and just bend this down here. Uh, so we make a connection to the other side maybe in a way that's a bit longer so it's giving us a bit more of the illusion that um yeah this is connecting here come on there we go good and we could probably um lose the bit here no too much yeah let's go like that okay i will call this good enough even though it's not 
Um, all right, so we have all of this. Let's group this and you can see that um, we have this part here, which is kind of fixed. And this is the original. So you can see we have done a lot of reconstruction. It's a quick and dirty way, but it looks kind of good without wasting hours and hours of uh, time. Um, some things I'm going to admit I didn't fix in the best way or I just outright don't know how to fix in a nice way. For example, her eye looks a little bit freakish. I think it's good enough for the first look. I think it's good enough for a first impression and to have fun. I'm not a restoration expert. I will say that also because I'm more a designer than actually doing this is not my job actually. Uh, but it was fun to do the project. Thank you for requesting that. And um, yeah, maybe if I learn a little bit more about different techniques, especially about these really hard to fix areas, I will do another tutorial. And I hope this was kind of interesting and fun um, to watch. See you in the next tutorial. Have a good night. Bye.